a man solitary and cold, methodical and unencumbered by scruples or regrets, the killer waits in the shadows, watching for his next target. And yet the longer he waits, the more he thinks he's losing his mind, if not his cool. A brutal, bloody and stylish noir story of a professional assassin lost in a world without a moral compass. This is a case study of a man alone, armed to the teeth and slowly losing his mind. In Paris, a professional assassin is waiting for his target in a hotel from an empty apartment. When the man arrives, he misses his shot and hits a prostitute that is in his room instead. He flees home in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, and finds that two killers have broken into his house and beaten and tortured his girlfriend Magdala. He visits her in the hospital where she is severely wounded and she tells him that they arrived in a taxi. The killer looks for the driver Leo, and he says that the man had a wounded leg and the woman had a hair that resembled a Q-tip. Then he kills Leo and leaves his body in the taxi. He travels to New Orleans where he meets the lawyer Hodges who hired him for the hit. Hodges refuses to disclose who hired him, but his secretary Dolores accepts to give the names of the assassins and the client. She requests only to have a non-suspicious death to leave her life insurance to her children. Now, the killer will travel to Florida and New York to kill the assassins that tortured his girlfriend and to meet his unsatisfied client.